Hey loves, Jennifer here. As many of you may know me, I am the mommy who used to vlog about her life with her kids and daily life activities. Well, as I mentioned in my previous video, I will be talking about my business and pretty much my entrepreneur life. I will also be talking about my mommy life as an entrepreneur and just working from home in general. As you know, I am a mom of two boys and I do work from home. In this video, I will be talking about my life as a mom and an entrepreneur. I will be talking about my fashion line and how my life is, my journey, how it all started, and my mindset that I keep so I can stay connected to the things that I want to achieve. If you're a mom and you have a business, or if you're a mom and you work from home, you must know the reality of how it is to manage things in life in general. So what I basically do is I keep my planner specifically for my business and one specifically for any other task like my meditations my daily affirmations um, what I need to remember um, let's say whatever it is that I'm planning to do for my work I have to make sure that I complete it and whatever activities I have planned with my boys I make sure that I complete it as well um, any achievements that I want to complete I also have a notebook for that um, I make sure that I put everything um, well organized and just like write tips and things to remember um, just to achieve what it is that I am trying to achieve with my business so I can keep growing. So here I have a tempo planner. Um, I got this from Amazon. It is very handy. It has planners. Um, you can write notes. It has goals. Um, it, what doesn't it have? In reality, it has pretty much everything that you need when it comes to planning um, and when it comes to remembering what you have to do in order i like to get myself in order just because it helps you know get through with whatever it is that i have to complete obviously when it comes to completing everything i do the check mark or i note it down just so i can remember what it is that i have completed um because i do have to make sure that i'm not doing the same thing over and over like let's say also i write down monday through friday on certain days I work on Instagram, on certain days I work on Pinterest, on certain days I work on Facebook because, you know, as many say, in reality, it takes a while to manage each social media platform. So you want to do one by one. So what I do is I take my time to take that undivided attention to whatever it is that I have to complete in each individual platform. Um, this notebook right here. <laughs> It is basically um, journal style, but I keep it for myself because um, I like to write down my daily affirmations on here and I do like to do daily affirmations every single morning and every single night because I feel like it is very important for you to have that mindset when it comes to reaching your goal. Why do I say this? Because a lot of people don't understand that it all starts in the head. <laughs> it all starts from you, from within, in reality. You have to know what it is that you want to achieve, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, whatever it is that you really truly want. You have to feel it within and you have to be it in order to get what you want. Those of you that listen to daily affirmations, you have to understand that it's not only about having a positive mindset, it's also about your way of living, your way of doing things in life, the way how you handle yourself, the way how you treat others, the way how you think in general it is definitely a big game changer i can definitely share some of the videos that i listen to myself with you i can put it down in the link below if that's something that you guys are interested in as well um i do like to keep a positive mindset i understand that meditation is very important but unfortunately as a mom i don't always have the time to do so so what i do is like in the meantime when i'm washing the dishes or um doing some cleaning or laundry um, I just listen to the meditation put my headphones on and whenever I can and listening to the manifestations and the affirmations like that um, so those are just some ideas of how you can get that positive mindset when it comes to you know having kids and you don't have enough time so you can just schedule yourself to do that So in reality, it all started in 2018. I started making some makeup videos 
and all of a sudden I got into doing some makeup tutorials. Um, I would do the videos on my Instagram account and people liked it. So I said, hey, why not give this a shot? Um, it's definitely something that I like, it's something that I like to do, and it just came natural. But um, I continued on and then I started doing videos on YouTube and I started to realize like this is not really something that I'm into. This is not something that I really, really like. And so my belief is that you should do something that you truly love and that you really like doing. So my thing is fashion. Um, I then realized three years later after that, that I didn't like what I was doing. And when someone doesn't like what they're doing, it's like, you know, it's not, you can't give it your all. It's not something that I really, really like. And so my belief is that you should do something that you truly love and that you really like doing. So my thing is fashion. Um, I then realized three years later after that, that I didn't like what I was doing. And when someone doesn't like what they're doing, it's like, you know, it's not, you can't give it your all because you're not enjoying what you're doing. And it's like, it's not what you want to do. So I continued doing it. So I said to myself, I really need to stop and think to myself, what is it that I really want to do? What is it that I like most? What is it that I've always liked? And what I, what is it that I've always been into? So I stopped and think to myself. I said, fashion. Fashion is definitely something that I've always been into that has, it has inspired me. I used to work for the fashion store guests and I was an employee there and I loved it. Um, I didn't necessarily like working retail because it's definitely not something, you know, that not a lot of people like because not the customers aren't always the best. But the thing is, you know, I love the fashion. I love dressing up. I love the idea of having new clothes and looking good all the time with what you're wearing and expressing myself with how I feel. So I said, in reality, what I like is fashion. So I started an online business doing fashion from there on in 2020 things slowly started going down and it was not working out i had something happen that an angry customer looks like he did whatever he possibly could he or she so my business could be shut down so here I am sharing this story with you guys, hoping to inspire you and helping you understand that you have to have the mindset and the dedication to move forward. If this is something that you want to do, if this is something that you look forward to and it is something that you love, I would say go for it. Whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, whatever it is that you're trying to do, as long as you love it, go for it. That's definitely a yes, a yes sign. So that is it for this video, my loves. I thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helped you in so many ways. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye. Hey loves, join our affiliate program today and enjoy 20% off discount on all purchases. Hey loves, join our affiliate program today and enjoy 20% off discount on all purchases. Hey loves, join our affiliate program today and enjoy 20% off discount on all purchases.